Hey, great news for all listeners in Lansing, Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Ann Arbor, the whole state of Michigan, you Michiganders. Yes, it's my friends at Bet Parks. They've got you covered. The Play Gun Lake Casino and Sportsbook app, all your favorite casino games that you can take on the go, odds and slots and bets and games, all from your smartphone. Play Gun Lake, the only app I recommend in Michigan. New users, you can join me now. Get up to a thousand dollar casino bonus back if you're not a winner in the first 24 hours. Roulette, Baccarat, Texas Hold'em, all that kind of good stuff. Play Gun Lake Casino, your favorite progressive slots. They've got those too. Right now, new users get up to a thousand dollar casino bonus back if you're not a winner in the first 24 hours. Play Gun Lake Casino and Sportsbook app. It's your time to play. New users only. Casino bonus has to be wagered. Terms and conditions apply. See the website at playgunlake.com for details. Gotta be 21 and in Michigan. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or Michigan Problem Gambling Helpline 1-800-270-7117. More headlines now from Smirconish.com, the Thursday edition of the newsletter. TC, this is really unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Bud Light, the top U.S. beer right. since 2001 now loses the sales crown to Modelo. Wow. Modelo. Have yep. you ever had a Modelo? I have had a Modelo. Um, if you go to, like, I feel like these maybe Mexican restaurants yeah. around here, mm. they have the flags up that say Modelo um, right along this strip up here. Mm. So I have there, but it's not something that I have in my refrigerator at home or that I look for, but I've had it sort of to get in the spirit of a of a meal. Not a Tecate? Oh, I like those too. Mm. I like beer. Not a Corona? I love a Corona with lime. I, I mean, come on, that's, that's summer. I'm sure that I've had a Modelo. I'm sure I'm you sure have. I'm sure that no I have. no way you haven't. But it doesn't stand out in my mind. Yeah. It, it's definitely not on my, my beer list. And if I were no, at... mine neither. If I were at a Mexican place, I'd probably go Tecate or I would go with, with a... But I'm just stunned. I know. I'm stunned know. by how big of a deal this has become. I can't believe it. All I just because don't understand of Dylan it. Mulvaney. I don't get it. The influencer. I know. I know. And it's and the backlash has been unbelievably severe, uh, both in, in price and also in, as you say, change of habits. So it's not just a money thing for Bud Light, which, of course, it's enormous. But really, people are that have been drinking this stuff forever are just not drinking it? Sales of because Bud of Light. Because of one woman? Like, that's just well, unbelievable. Because, because a marketing person has an idea. Hey, I'll send some, some cans with the likeness of right. an influencer with a big following, right. never intending that they're going to sell the cans. You know, Kid Rock, it's not like you were going to go into your local Michigan distributor and see Dylan Mulvaney's image. That was never the idea. Which would the, ima- shouldn't have mattered anyway. You the know? idea was that Dylan Mulvaney would, would do exactly what Dylan Mulvaney did, which was like make a little video right. and talk about Take it. Take a sip, sell some beer. And instead... Sales of Bud Light hovered at around 10% of U.S. retail beer sales until the four weeks that ended April 22nd. So all very consistent. Yes. Then dropped to 8.7% and have trended downward since. Modelo, Coors Light, Miller Light each saw bumps in their share of the retail beer market in the same period. It's uh, amazing. Makes me thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I just it's and what a what a wake up call for businesses, for retailers before they get involved in a hot political issue, especially one that involves I was going to say LGBTQ, but it's really the it's trans. trans issue. It's trans. I think we're, just, I think we're beyond uh, gay being an issue, I think, in most quarters, in most quarters, maybe some are, have, a, have will have an issue with that um, of the most conservative. But I, I think trans is the hot button issue right now for some reason. And it's such a minuscule part of our um, of, of the uh, of the people in the United States. There's such a small it, percentage. It drives, it drives people, though. People I are know. like overwhelmed. by They this. go crazy. Hey, I neglected to tell you something. Oh, what? I said Tecate and I, I said uh, Corona. I did not say Pacifico Clara, Oh, which I, I love. And if I see and I also like the marketing of it. And I just mean like the can. Oh, but if I see Pacifico Clara, I drink that as well. OK, so say you're going out to for pizza. Right. All right. And you're sitting there. You're going to yeah. eat there. What beer are you getting? So that's going to be good. First of all, I would. I mean, I guess it depends if it's like a shishi pizza place. Right. So then you have like craft beers on if, tap. If I'm going. Or, OK, if I'm going out, I would like to drink a draft beer. Right. Of course. Me if too. the draft beer comes without a head on it, I am saying something. 
I am saying something. Where, where, where the heck are you possibly going that the draft beer doesn't have a good Happened head on it? Happened to me within the last three months. Oh, at yeah. a reputable place. What went on? Um, yeah, re- a place that I go on a regular basis. And, and I said, and I, I, I didn't like send it back. I didn't send it like, oh, I want, but I did say, you know what, on my next one, could, could you make sure that it gets poured? And the beer was, the beer was not flat. But still, it had no head on it. And but I just, were they pouring it really carefully so there wasn't too much head? Like, were they nah, trying I, to? I don't think they, they knew. You know, I had, my re, I had my reunion. I had my reunion, as you know, at Lehigh yes. last weekend. What was one we drinking out at Lehigh? We went back to the fraternity. Yingling. And in the, in, the fraternity, in the fraternity, they had removed, because now it's a sorority, they had removed the bar. We had whoa, whoa, a whoa, permanent, whoa, whoa. What kind of sorority is this? We what? had a permanent bar, and we were on tap 24 Seven, not for Thursday nights, not for sat. No, twenty four seven, and there was a beer pong table right, right next to the bar. Yeah, and that's the way that it was. Yeah. So if I if I go out, I'm I'm going to have a draft of some kind. But if I'm at home, right? Oh, good. If I'm at yes, home, because we we have beer in the refrigerator, and I like to drink it. And it's funny, like five years ago, and I had this conversation with Dan. At the time, because, you know, Dan is like a big beer meister. Huge craft so beer I, I remember aficionado. him kind of like turning me on to some of the beers. But I remember walking into a local beer store mm-hmm. and being bewildered. Yes. Bewildered. I know which what, one you're talking about. <laughs> right. But 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 that's no longer the case. That is no now longer the case. Now you know your I, way around. I, I, have, I have my favorites. Oh, how about you wanna that? Want to hear my favorites? I do. Okay. So I like uh, from Ballast Point, oh. which is in San Diego, I like Sculpin. And have you been, tr- you tr- sort of, this is tried and true. Oh, now, yeah, yeah. These are, are they all I'm giving similar. you my faves. Are they all similar? Yeah, they're all IPAs. IPAs. They're okay, all good. IPAs. And I, I try not to go with a real heavy alcohol because I want to have more than one. Of course. I totally So, like, understand. if it's like a 7.5, no. I'm thinking twice. Go for the 4.5. S- Sculpin. Yeah. Sculpin. I'm recommending to you Sculpin. Okay. Got okay. It. I got to have something local. Okay. Good. Local would be from Conchahawken Brewery, the Type A. Perfect. I like Type A. Uh, wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> They have pain in the ass B. Yeah, do they? Yes. That's yours too. So, um, okay, Sculpin, Conchahawken, Type A, Sierra Nevada. Yeah. I like Sierra Nevada. Really? And I also, I, I not only like Sierra Nevada, I also like on the can it says. Um, Out there or something no, like no, no, that. No, 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 no. It says, uh, I hope I get it right, family owned and argued over. Oh, nice. Family owned I, and argued. Kind of something like that. Like that. Yeah. Um, peak. Peak Pale Ale, which P-E-A-K. comes. A K. P-E-A-K, which comes from Maine. Nice. And it drinks like it looks. Nice and clean. I like that. Nice and That's clean. That's good. Peak. Perfect. Yeah. I should put these out in my in uh, social media. Yeah, you definitely should. Um, okay, from from Ithaca, from Ithaca, I like Flower Power. Oh, how fabulous. And it's a really cool looking can as well, and it's a great drinking beer, although I drank it in bottles last week, and that was cool too. Something else that has happened to me in the last five years in in, in terms of returning to my beer roots. Yes. And that is that I've also, when I buy the beers that I've just told you about, each of them, I get them in cans. Oh, interesting. I get them in cans. And and it's it's sort of an homage to my junior high school days when I first started drinking beer. Because then it was Genesee Cream. When you were 12, what did you like, Michael? <laughs> Genesee, Genesee Cream Ale um, or Rolling Rock. Oh, Rolling, Rolling Rock. Rock. Oh, what a riot. Yeah. That is yeah. too good. Ser- ever- seriously, my friend, and he's today a very prominent attorney. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's built an unbelievable. We're practice. not going to name him. No, I'm going to name him. Oh, we're naming. Yeah, him. Rob oh, Gunlock. Okay, what did Rob like to drink when you guys were twelve? Well, no, he was the organizer. Oh, and and he was like an enforcer. Did he have older brothers? No, How no, he, he had a younger brother. Uh, okay, there was a guy in the neighborhood. Oh, jeez. And his name was his name was Turner. His name was Turner, and Rob would collect. Two dollars from each person who needed a six pack, oh and then God, he would God. give it with with like a vig. He would give it to Turner, and Turner would then go and make the run. This is unbelievable. Yeah, and highly illegal. And then and then we would sit in the woods. Oh geez. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What on earth are my, are you even talking about? I know it's insane. Insane. It's Can insane. you imagine and, now? And, and it's true. That's that that guy would be arrested. Oh my God. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Shame on Rob. Not for Rob for Turner. Cor- for, oh, uh, right. Yeah, him too. Rob's only 12. His parents are going to get arrested. <laughs> I think Rob was a, a year older. I think he was 13. Oh, boy. Great. Yeah. Like those teenagers. Yeah, he was the enforcer. He wanted your $2. 
He wanted your two dollars on a on a uh, on a Friday. Do you ever drink any like sours? I'm into these no. sour beers out there. No. So good. No, and I, I'll tell you something else I don't like that I know you like. The wit beers. Yeah. Love the wit yeah. beers. Like what's the, mm. the uh, blue moon? So blue moon is a little fruity for me. I oh. like a more crisp white beer like um Hogarten I liked for a while, but that that's a really heavy beer. Right. It's like that's like a meal. That's like a bowl of soup. You know what I mean? Like you gotta be careful with that. You know what I'm saying? It's like having gazpacho. It is. It totally is. Oh, you know, if you spike your gazpacho with a little little vodka, then it's like a bloody Mary. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I do I do enjoy a good draft beer. I drink them very fast. Yeah. T C you drink like a fish. You just go, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I got to slow do down. Why do you do that? I'm a gulper, not a sipper. What can I say? You know, yeah. some people just go through life slowly sipping things. I mean, I you feel chug. like I just want to just TC enjoy. Chugs. I do. And you know why? Because I'm thirsty. But I do it with water, too. It's not like an alcohol thing. I just I'm just fast. I eat fast. I drink fast. Like chop, chop. Let's what go. An inter- what an interesting conversation this has turned out to be. All because Bud Light. Bud Light, Bud Light. neither of us drinks. Right. Oh, except I've gone out of my way to drink it. Right. I've gone out of my way to drink Bud Light now. Just because I think this is bullshit. It's just so... It is it's ridiculous. Ridiculously crazy. So will they ever come out of the crater? I don't know the answer to that. I don't know that time, either. It's time. I don't know. What, what I do feel you like do? you and I want a beer. What do you, what do, you right do if, if you're like Don Draper, you know, Mad Men, and you're, you're hired on Madison Avenue to help Anheuser-Busch? What do you do? I don't know. And people are commenting that look at her face for telltale signs when I drink. Oh, TC, <laughs> TC gets flush, flush immediately. I've tried. There, People say like, take an antacid tablet before and then you won't. I mean, my father had the best line. My father had the best line when I said like, I don't know what to do about this. He was like, just don't drink. Don't drink. Right. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Woody. Very helpful. <laughs> Anyway, that story is posted at Smirconish.com yep. today. Bud Light losing its perch as the top seller, all because of this uh, boycott. More headlines from Smirconish.com, the newsletter. Some stuff you might not otherwise know. For example, do you know the Cavender twins? The Cavender twins. I did not. Until, until I read this story about the Cavender twins, I had no idea what this was all about. But a publication called the Free Press... Uh, the author, Ethan Strauss, this is an online uh, a publication, writes about the Cavender twins. The Cavender twins are not happy about the story. I should tell you that. Uh, who are they? They are sisters, twin sisters. Think like uh, double mint girls. They are athletes. They are basketball players. And in the midst of COVID, they went viral and they became influencers. And I, I guess the way I would sum up the story is that they're, they're not superstars, in terms of their their prowess on the court, they're good ball players, as I understand it. But they're very attractive, TC, and and consequently, they're, very, they're beautiful. They've got girls. huge followings, yep. and because of the change in the NCAA rules post Supreme Court decision of a couple of years ago, they are able to and do make Boku bucks yes. from their social media postings, TikTok Correct. in particular. Yeah, so they're and, in, they're influencers, and yeah. they're able to be paid, and they are paid very well. And and the critics say, wait a minute, why are they making all the money because of their looks and not their athletic prowess? Okay, fair enough. In terms of my if summary, you're a critic, that might be what you say. Yes, I mean it's a tale as old as time. Right. Though, right, no, I mean that's that's who that's who gets the dough. Right. Absolutely, Olympic athletes as well. The better looking of them. That's my point. Yeah, it's a it's a worthy story and one that I one that I recommend. Right. Um, and they have they took great umbrage at how that they were written up. That's the point of the story is that that. They were told that they were going to that was going to be an in-depth look at their athleticism, why they didn't take the fifth uh, year, et cetera, et cetera. And so they their reaction to the piece is what's making all the news, which will no doubt enhance their platform even more because they're fighting back. Yeah, Uh, this is a twisted story from Belgium. You may already have heard it because it is getting some attention. But a dad faked his own death. And then dramatically arrived at the funeral in a helicopter in an attempt to try and teach his family a life lesson. Now, the 45-year-old guy, the wife and his kids, they were in on it. I was so glad when I read that because that wasn't clear in the headline. Right. They they played along. They they played along. They were in on it. But this was, I mean, you talk about social media. This was completely for TikTok. He was trying to, you know, he felt like his family wasn't. Um, paying attention, wasn't coming to visit, wasn't doing X, wasn't doing Y, and he wanted to make a point. I I think it's sick. Me too. Yeah. Sick. Pretty, pretty twisted, right? Yeah. 
Uh, poll results yesterday, 25,130 voted. Could you be a fair and impartial juror in the case of United States versus Donald J. Trump? Love the reaction to it. Interesting result. Let's call it 60-40. Yes. 58.82% said yes. The uh, rest said no. So uh, happy with our audience. Most think they could be a fair juror to Donald Trump. We did calls on that yesterday. Really interesting. How about today's poll question? Will POTUS... 47 pardon donald trump oh people are so up in arms about this one way or the other people are opinionated okay about but this. but i love the genius of because the you poll. don't say wait who right who it doesn't matter who doesn't matter who. doesn't matter who whoever potus 47 might be potus 47 might be trump potus, potus 47 might be biden might be biden might be kamala could be anyone could be right it could be desantis you don't know so whomever that is are they going to are they going to give Donald Trump a pardon? Jason Willick has a piece in the Washington Post today that's that's really interesting because he says that Donald Trump's legal peril might actually be of benefit for a Republican running for president not named Donald Trump. What does that mean? What it means is that Trump the guy who won't agree to supporting whomever the Republican nominee is. He played that game in 2016. I think he played it in 20, well, 2020, he didn't have to because it was going to be him. But he's back doing it now, and there's a debate coming up August 23rd in Milwaukee. It kind of locks him in. In other words, I'm, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Donald Trump now has a huge incentive to be supportive of whomever the Republican nominee might be because his fate might rest in the hands of that individual. I spoke to someone earlier today that said, picture DeSantis. If DeSantis somehow wins the presidency, right. this person said to me, there is no way he's pardoning Trump. And I vehemently disagree. I'm with you. I thought that the, the cult of Trump is still and will be still that strong, but it's not, that bulk. It's not just that, though. I mean, I, I'm thinking Jerry Ford, our long national nightmare is over. I, I could see I could see even Biden like doing just, it. Just to keep the, the The thing is, I could see Biden giving him a pardon just to, like, let's get beyond the age of Trump. But how do you exact from Trump a pledge, a commitment that to he would honor? To go just, be like, quiet. Just go be quiet. No way. How not do you chance. do that? Not a chance. I-94. Maybe he's stronger in jail. So, you know, maybe that would weaken him. I don't know. I-95. Yes. They're working hard. What are they going to do? 2,000 tons of lightweight glass nuggets to help rebuild quickly. Put in all the glass nuggets, pave over, and open the road. Yeah, they're trying to, they're they're making a, a quick fix, not a permanent fix, just to get the supply chains running again. Right. And they're working 24-7. They're working 24 like With cameras through, on it. Yeah. Love it. I mean, it's a real, it's a real opportunity for Josh Shapiro to shine. Yeah. A real opportunity. Yeah. Now, watch, watch what I do here. Here we go. I'm when the road opens... There will be UPS trucks driving across it. Nice and cool. And they will be air conditioned. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like I'm not I'm Is not the one the doors always open. I'm not the one in there sweating, but I've always admired, especially in the summer. Those doors are open. The guys are in their shorts. They're working hard, but no AC. No AC, and now that's going to change. Well, I mean, I guess it, it, it makes sense that you're in and out of that thing all the time. That's a lot. You're, you're sort of cooling the the whole outdoors. Is that the idea? Like, why didn't they have AC? Uh, has to be a cost thing. Yeah. Has to be a, a, a cost yeah. thing. Uh, time for one more. What's your favorite oh, of what's gosh. left? I, I don't even you know. You want the meerkats? Do you yeah, want, yeah, uh, I want the, the, a- the oh. aliens? Oh, no, I want the aliens. Uh, no, I want the meerkats. Do you want the, um, the weapons supervisor who may have been hung oh. over? On the set of Alec Baldwin's movie, that's a future poll question. Will you go see it when it comes out? Uh, Depends ooh. what whether it's any good. Maybe. Uh, will I go see it? Um, I won't. Okay, here's a double negative. I won't not go see it based on what happened. Right. Yeah. I mean, my my is it? I don't know. Is is the buzz good? If the buzz is good, I'm right. going to watch it. I'm not going to go watch for some purian interest, like oh, what can I see? And right. If, if that if is it's, kind of if gr- it's supposed that is to be, kind of grim, though, isn't it? Yeah. If it's supposed to be a good movie, right. then okay, I'll I'll, I'll and see. And then it. what's going on with the meerkats? Is it, I don't they know. Die? They think it's five the, of them. Five all, meerkats. When you say five, that's all of them. Yeah, all of them. They right. they think it's the come like they they um, marked them with dye and it poisoned them. That's what they think now. Necrop- isn't that awful? Ne- necropsies. Necropsies. It poisoned them. 
are underway. Yeah. We actually suspect that we lost the animals to a topical dye that helps us mark our animals for identification so that we can tell them from one another because they look so similar. It's a dye we've been using for over 30 years. What a sad story. I love I love the Philadelphia Zoo. Me too. It's a great it's zoo. A Nation's place. oldest, I think, zoo. Yeah. Uh, and just a spectacular place. All right. Um, hey, it's a Thursday. TC after dark. Jerks at work. Jerks at work. So I have. I don't like it. I don't like it when she says that. You, you have to listen to the whole thing. Michael may or may not have made an appearance. I, well, I in walked in. TC's recording it and talking about jerks at work. I'm like, who are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah, okay. I'll so go. I have a professor, Tessa uh, Tessa West from New York University, who wrote a book called Jerks at Work, mm. talking about who they are, what to do about them. And if you are a jerk, do you know you're a jerk? My question to her was, do jerks like being jerks? Does it make them feel good? <coughs> Big question for me. Like and subscribe. Like right now, if you're watching. Thank you for listening. Listen to TC After Dark. See you tomorrow.